Crafting can be one of the most useful skills in Escape from Tarkov, especially when trying to obtain quest items, daily item transfers, or weekly transfers. You can increase your crafting skill by simply crafting items in your hideout. However, there is a bit of a catch. To level your crafting skill in your hideout, there are multiple ways that you can increase your skill. These include having eight hours worth of crafts going in your hideout, which equals one point per eight hours of crafting eight hours of unique crafting, which gives you 2.5 points per the eight hours of unique craft, one point per craft upon the end of a production for alternating between two different craft recipes on the same module. Remember, to raise your level, you can't just craft a single recipe repeatedly in the same module. The only way to level your crafting skill is to craft multiple items once a craft is completed. So be sure to switch around crafts in the same module and go and do that for each different module. A few examples of the crafts that I utilize to level my crafting skill include crafting the SJ6 injector and the mule injector at the med station, crafting the sugar and max energy drink at the nutrition station, crafting the 762 BP ammo and the kite gunpowder at the workbench, water filters, and the Tarzan M22 rig in the laboratory, an Intel folder, and GPU in the Intelligence Center. You can utilize whatever crafts you would like to use to maximize your profits for your ruble count, or simply create your own recipes to level up your own crafting skill. The benefit of leveling this crafting skill to Elite includes being able to craft two items in the same module at the same time. Also, by leveling up the crafting skill, crafting items can also greatly reduce the, the amount of time that it takes to craft that item. If you enjoyed this short video, be sure to drop a like and also let me know what kind of crafting recipes that you're using down in your hideout to maximize either your crafting level or your ruble count. Leave a comment down below. You can also find me live on Twitch in the link down in the description below. Now go out there and get some crafting done.